Today at the thrift store, I picked up this turntable. It's a Toshiba. Uh, the model number is SRF451. Now the sticker on the top said uh, a couple things. One was the price, which was in the green sticker there. It says $599. So that was a good price. The um, thing that bothered me a little bit was as is. This normally means there's something wrong with the unit. They had plugs here to test it out, so I plugged it in, turned it on, and the, uh, the strobe light lit up, but the platter wouldn't spin. So um, I figured I was, for six bucks I'd take it home and I'd try to get the thing going. Also to clean it up too, it's uh, it's quite dirty. As you can see here, you can see on, in the corner there, there's a nicotine stain. It's actually, the whole thing's kind of yellowed. Uh, whoever had the turntable before were smokers no question about it uh, even the back here of the uh, of the uh, the inside back of the uh, dust cover you can see the yellowing uh, from nicotine and smoke overall it's very dirty looking so one of my objectives is to clean it up the other objective is to get it running um, I noticed when I pulled the platter off as I'll show you right now normally when uh, Turntable, turntable doesn't spin. It's usually because there's no belt. Well, in this case, there is a belt, but it's a broken belt, so there's not much uh, use for that one. Which means I'll have to either purchase a new belt or go through what I have in, in my own supply of belts to see whether I can find one that uh, will fit. <clears throat> Another problem, though, even worse than that, was um, even when the motor was turned on, the pulley wasn't spinning which tells me that the, uh, the motor is not working possibly due to a connection problem or something else inside I'll be investigating that as well pulling that apart and uh, seeing if we can get it going um, it does come with a cartridge it's a it's an old piezo piezo cartridge p-i-e-z-o uh, it does have a needle don't know how good it is though probably be replacing it once they get the thing up and running um, Interesting turntable. It's got several controls in the front. It's got speed control, size control, size of the album, if it's a 12 inch or a 7 inch record. It's got a repeat button. It's also got a cut button for stopping play at any time. And the start of the it is a fully automatic turntable, belt drive, and um, the pitch control is kind of in a weird spot. It's located underneath here. It's just a rotating dial to adjust your speed to the proper pitch. So, um, it's made by Toshiba, and uh, after researching it on eBay and other uh, websites, Toshiba is not a very common name in turntables. They were more focused on televisions and things like that. Turntables is really not uh, a main part of their business, and thus there's uh, very few Toshiba turntables out there. Don't know what their real value is. Probably not very much, but uh, in any case, it's definitely worth, in my mind, six dollars. Because uh, even if I can't get the turntable running, the head shell itself. Is a nice head shell, and uh, to buy one brand new, you're looking at at least six dollars uh, and up for for a head shell. So that'll come in handy um, if I can't get this thing to go. Uh, I'll be using that for my um, my spare cartridges for my other turntables. So anyway, um, that's how it looks right now. I'm gonna see what I can do to get it cleaned up and get her going. Okay, so I, I want to investigate the uh, the motor problem as to why the uh, Pulley wasn't turning the part that turns the belt. So I carefully removed the platter and the uh, rubber sheet. Um, flipped the unit over onto its uh, onto its lid very carefully, making sure that the uh, tone arm was secure before doing so. Removed the back with the uh, five or six screws that were used to fasten it to the rest of the unit. And uh, to examine the motor, I unfastened the uh, the screws from the other side so I could remove the motor and take a look at the part I want to see, which is the part that spins at the top. And uh, usually when a motor's not working, it's not usually because the motor's bad, it's usually a connection problem. And what I discovered was in the, uh, the switch here that changes speeds, okay, I pulled the switch out as well, from 33 to 45, and the dial that changes the pitch. There was bad connection, uh, bad connectivity in there uh, with the motor. I was, I was noticing when I had the power on that the this would spin and stop, spin and stop, spin and stop while turning the dial here. And um, 
So what I did was I got some out of some uh, pressed air and, and really shot it really good in there, uh, removing any dust particles in that might be in there. And then Old Faithful WD-40 put a shot into there as well into the parts that, that move. And uh, just by turning the dial back and forth several times, back and forth, back and forth, I was noticing that the uh, the spindle here wasn't stopping and starting as much. It was staying on, and eventually, it didn't stop at all. It it, it stays on now, so it seems to be working. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, and then we'll try playing something on it. But before we can play something on it, we have to fix our other problem, which was the broken belt. And I do happen to have a, an extra belt um, that fits it quite nicely. Uh, you can buy replacement belts for virtually any make of turntable online. Uh, they're a very reasonable cost. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the belt on the platter and then we're going to uh, put a record on and give it a spin.